So I'm gonna share with you the two catfish baits I rely on the most, and almost nobody out there is using them. Now one of these baits is great for catching a lot of fish, and the other one is great for catching big fish. Come on, let me tell you about them. Everybody loves fishing with chicken liver, and chicken liver is an excellent bait for channel cats, but it's got a major drawback. Chicken livers fall off the hook nonstop. You're gonna be rebaiting your hook almost every single cast when you're fishing with chicken liver, and these suckers are messy. This is gonna have blood and everything else all over the bottom of your boat or your on your pants and everything else you're fishing with. So we can get the, all the benefits of chicken liver with beef liver. Now, one thing you wanna pay attention to, make sure you get beef liver. Beef liver. Calf liver is not as effective. If you're gonna get it to eat yourself, go with the calf liver. If you're gonna get it for the catfish, go with the beef liver. And good news, it's just a little bit cheaper this way too. This is the beef liver. And this is red, every bit as readily available as chicken liver. You can find this in almost every single grocery store. Um, and what I like to do with it, real simple, I just cut it into long strips, about like this, three or four inches long. And that's what I'll be fishing with. You can tailor it, you can adjust it, you can cut them fatter or skinnier, but that's all you gotta do right there. And this meat is a little a little sinewier. You can feel it, it's got a little bit to it versus this, which is a chicken liver, which as long as you don't drop it on your wife's dining room table, you won't have a problem with it. Mind trouble. We put together a little experiment with the fish tank here. So we're gonna give it a try and see if we can show just how much better this really does stay on the hook. All right, let's get science to here, folks. We got chicken liver on the left, beef liver on the right, and we're gonna have a shaking the bait off the hook contest here in my kid's aquarium. So let's see how this goes. Give them hell, Aaron. We need somebody to turn on that bait shaking music. No, not that. Put on something from Jesse. I wanna hear fishing with Aaron. Let's go fishing. Oh, now that's more there. like it. You know he'll go anytime. It's very scientific. Work and play and hooky. Oh, you need Well, would you look at that? Kind of hard to dispute that kind of evidence, isn't it? Fishing with Well, that may not be scientific, but I think that makes a pretty good point. Look at that. Each one of those little drips, putting a little plume of scent and flavor in the water. That's why these are so easy to track down for a catfish. They're really a smell machine. <clears throat> we probably ought to clean that aquarium up. You think? Well, we're... The one other thing I really love about beef liver is it catches a larger fish on average than like a night crawler would. And also, it doesn't catch the collateral fish as often. So you don't have uh, long-eared sunfish, bluegill, and red ear pecking at it all the time. So you can keep the bait in the water longer, targeting the fish you want. So on average, you're going to catch a bigger fish. You're going to keep your bait on the hook longer. It's readily available in grocery stores. Guys, I'm telling you, beef liver should be a more popular catfish bait than chicken liver is. And I don't know why it isn't. But it's the best one out there for filling your freezer and channel cats definitely the best fish for filling your freezer or having a fish fry now if you want to catch a big catfish you need to be fishing for blue cats blue cats the largest catfish in the united states and the best way to target them is fresh meat they love oily fish like herring skipjack shad they love small bluegill too, very effective. But all of those methods require you going out and fishing before you go fishing because you need to go out and catch your bait, which can be almost as time consuming as fishing for the blue cats. So what's the alternative? If you don't have time to go out and bait fish, it's available in every grocery store. It's pink, it's delicious, and it's my next bait. Ah! Salmon. Absolutely one of the best baits you can use, and nobody uses it. A lot of people think, oh, well, why would I go out and I'll buy a big salmon if I catch a catfish? You know, I'd rather just eat the salmon. Oh, yeah, you're doing it to catch a big fish, <laughs> and it works. In fact, of all the fish I've caught over 30 pounds, only one of them was caught on something other than salmon. And I don't know why this is, but the frozen salmon does not work very well. I don't know if it's just a lower quality that doesn't have the same amount of marbling in it as the fresh salmon does, 
but use the fresh salmon. You can see a visual difference in it and it does perform a lot better. Other thing you might be thinking about is the price. Isn't that a lot to spend on bait? Well, you know, not really when you think about it. First of all, I bought skipjack at, at a bait store for $17 for one fish before. And that's about a quarter the amount of salmon is, is in that package. And if you take that $25 package of salmon and you cut it into five pieces, you can use it to fish five different times. And you're only talking about about the same you'd spend on night crawlers, about five bucks a pop. It's the oils in the salmon that really make it effective as a bait. So I thought a fun experiment would be to take a couple of these fillets I have from this big old salmon I brought back from Michigan and see just how much oil we could render out of it. Let's give it a shot. And the filet meat in the salmon is apparently up to 30% oil. Turns out I didn't really know much about rendering fish oil and I probably didn't do this right. Uh, it takes about two weeks to do it properly from what I've read, but I did manage to get just a little bit of oil and just to show how oily of a fish this is, it's burning a candle right there. Did you think we'd be making fish candles today? No. Okay, so salmon stays on the hook, it's easy to get, and it hauls in big fish. I can't think of any reason why you wouldn't want to go out and try it. If you do, let me know in the comments. I'd be really curious to hear some feedback from other folks who try this out. Uh, beef liver as well. These are two great baits. Let me know in the comments. Uh, also, oh, hey, right here. Click right here to find out how, uh, if you want to see the video of how I caught this big old salmon I cut up in this video. And the filet meat in the salmon is apparently up to 30% oil. So that's a lot of mm, deliciousness for a blue cat to get into. Mm.